ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಇಂದೇ ಗುರುನಾಥನ್ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿಯುಡೆ ತೃಪಾದಗಳಿಲ್ ನಮಸ್ಕರಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾ ಎನ್ನಿ ಅರ್ಪಿಸಿರಿಕ್ಕ ಈ ಜೋಲಿಲೇಕ್ಕೆ ಕಡಕ್ಕಾಣ ಇನ್ನು ಮೂನ್ನ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಇವಡೆ ಚರ್ಚ ವಳರೆ ವಿಶದಮಾಯಿ ಚರ್ಚ ಚೆಯ್ಯು ಅದಿಂಡೆ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಒಂದು ವಿಲೇಯಿರತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದರ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಎಲ್ಲಾಂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಏಗೋವಿಪಿಚ್ ನಾವು ಎಂತಾನ ಚರ್ಚ ಚೆಯ್ಯ ಅನ್ನೋ ಅದಿಂಡೆ ಒಂದು ಸಮಗ್ರಮಾಯಿ ಚರ್ಚ ಚೆಯ್ದಿಂಡೆ ಒಂದು ಸಂಕ್ಷಿಪ್ತ ರೂಪಂ ಕೊಡುಕುಗ ಅನ್ನೋದಾನ ಈ ಈ ಸೆಷನ್ಡೆ ನಮ್ಮಡೆ ಒಂದು ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಇಬ್ಡೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂದಂ ತಮಿಳುನಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂದಂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪಲ ಪ್ರದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂದಂ ಬಂದಿಟ್ಟುಳ್ಳ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ವರಿಯನ್ಮಾರ್ ಉಳ್ಳದೊಂಡ ನಾನು ಎಂಡೆ ಭಾಷೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಲೇಕ್ಕೆ ತರ್ಜಮ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಲೇಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಟಿಗೆಯಾನ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮದೇವ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ದಂಡಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಿತೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂತ ಸಮಿತಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಶಕ್ತಿ ಶಾಂತಾನಂದ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಅಖಿಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂತ ಸಮಿತಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಧರ್ಮಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿಗಳ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಲಪ್ಪುರಂ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಮೆನ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ my sadar pranams to all of you we all know that we have been discussing about three topics varying from liberation of temples restoration of temples and the rituals and the challenges faced by hindus especially uh, with a special focus on kerala tamil nadu and karnataka these are the three sessions which deliberated the various issues when we were discussing the deliberation of temples we know and it were told by the learned seers that only hindus have the problem of government interference with respect to the management with respect to the utilization of funds with respect to the rituals that are being uh, performed no other religion no other semitic religion uh, which has separate texts and have separate status uh, have an interference from any governmental bodies but as majorities which the tag which was given to the hindus we find that there is a lot of interference and we have found that the temple management is being uh, repeatedly uh, made to bow down bend down the knees we have to make sure that you know it is aligned with the so called constitutional interpretations by people and people who are not interested in any of the religious or uh, rituals that we perform in the temples go for a, uh, a litigation and get a favorable judgment so that these kinds of activities with an intent to malign the traditions the culture that we follow from prehistoric times have to be uh definitely encountered we have to stay strong to for challenging all these things we need to have the management of the temples we have, we all know that what happened with shabrimala shabrimala when there was a 
a legal interpretation that the entry of women was not allowed which was not true there were only some age restrictions that happened with respect to shabarimala and restrictions are there even for retirement of judges you know voting so restrictions are generally allowed there is no ban but the interpretation was given in such a way that women have we not been allowed to enter the uh, temple and there has been a, a huge uprising by the hindus not just in kerala but across india to protect the rites and rituals being performed by the community by the culture even we have many many uh, people having faith in other religions going to the temple so such a such a place cannot be seen as a place where there are restrictions or uh, people are being persecuted and such interpretations are there and that's a direct interference into the cultural freedom that a prehistoric culture is uh, practicing from time immemorial anyway so this was discussed at length and the reasons for having the hindu management uh, for the hindu temples have been put in uh, put before all of you for your consideration and also the rituals and uh as i said in uh, right in shabarimala shani shignapur temple everywhere we have been interference from the legal see the matters that concern to the temple has to be decided by the sant and the people who be have believe in it and we have been always uh revising if there has been any 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 uh practice that is not allowed or not appreciated by a vast majority of the people we always corrected it we improved on it but that is for us to decide it is not for any legal uh, luminary interpreting certain uh, legal terms to uh, trust it upon the believers and make sure that you know say that the constitution uh, says so so that is the another session where we had a very lengthy discussion the property the management and the right to decide as to what we would like to practice like just like the other religions do we all know that you know in many other religions there are restrictions much more restrictions than what as a community as a hindu uh, culture that we practice there are much much more uh, restrictions but that is all right this is cannot be allowed this cannot be practiced that was the another session and the third was the challenges in general that we faced so being a majority has become a liability that's the thought process that is being given or that is the impression that is being given which leads to people from a lower strata thinking about converting going and joining other religion which they were getting protection so this has to have a, a protection for the hindus from the predatory nature of course we have laws which says that you cannot convert you cannot induce people to convert but whether that is being implemented or not is another issue so very recently we all know that when somebody requested the court to say that the vaults in the taj mahal should be opened and see what is there the court said no we will this is not the place where you can come and ask for such a request but for sri padmanabha swami temple the vaults were had to be opened that's a public right we need to know so why this two different set of rules for two different set of people so these were also discussed now it is my duty to request uh, pujya sri dharmananda swami kal to give us uh, a concluding remark uh, uh, a gist of what we discussed
over the these three sessions over the last two days today and yesterday and guide us to work together in unison in unity so that we will not be threatened by any forces and we will be heard like what we did in shabarimala when there was a was a threat to the uh, ritualistic uh, practices that we have been following we need to be in we, we should take to the streets we should make sure that we are having a one single voice and how we approach that i request the swami ji the sons the mahans here to kindly guide us and i request pujya sri dharmananda swami gal to guide us for that thank you